can you tell us how this concerto came about? You have written so many concertos for so many high profile performers, but each one has a story. Well, the story here is that, of course, Joe Giovalesi is the principal trombonist of the New York Philharmonic. And I think it was the Philharmonic who turned around and said, would you please do a concerto for our trombonist? And I said, of course. And I got to know Joe. We had a chance to meet at Juilliard when I was in New York and uh, hit it off immediately. And I knew exactly what I could do. And he sent me a whole sheaf of his great CDs. And I said, this was a kind of musician that... Uh, Let's us see how much a trombone can do. Joan Morris, you mentioned it very kindly, uh, was absolutely knocked out by how many things this trombonist can do and how poetic he can play. And that's, of course, once I realized I could do that, I had the freedom to write something exactly as I wanted. So often with a concerto, there's a collaboration, meaning the soloist, as in your case, you are colleagues and communicated. Did you think in terms of his playing abilities or were you thinking further down the line for all the people who would be playing this work? Well, that, of course, is a nice byproduct. And I hope that there'll be a lot of people who will. But the main thing was I was going to concentrate on Joe. What you try to do is to get a sort of a, a feeling of a person, not only from the way they play, but the way they are. And just a little bit, we had a chance to meet. We we met for lunch, and we sat down, doodled a little bit for jazz, and I looked at him, and he looked at me, ah, we don't have to do that. We had a good feeling of what we wanted to do. And I talked about a lot at the point that I was doing this with the Philharmonic Orchestra. And I said, you know, I think I really should do a band version for you, because you know very well, trombonists are not or ordinarily hired by symphony orchestras. They hire violins and pianos. And even a singer, Berlin Horn, did a wonderful cycle with me, and we couldn't get anybody to do because he's a singer. So it's just very strange, but trombonists are way down the list. So <laughs> but, you know, it's too bad for them, because now all these trombonists will have to have to listen to Joe doing it with the bands, which is nothing so terrible. You know, they're all wonderful bands, and Jerry is one of the best. <laughs> 